What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, Poor Man's Guide to Building the Food Truck. Today's gonna be a really exciting one because we're gonna be talking about turning this into this. Let's see how we did it. So first and foremost, as you guys can now see, we do have an official name for the business. It is gonna be Savage Tacos. So uh, whenever you guys get the moment, go ahead and check us out on social media. We already have the pages set up, so check us out on Facebook. It's gonna be Savage Tacos FL. Uh, and you can also check it out on Instagram, Savage Tacos FL. We're still gonna obviously be running the poor man's food truck, but uh, I really appreciate if you guys can check out those two pages as well, because we're gonna be posting a lot of stuff through there. Uh, we're just waiting on the LLC uh, to get finalized, and then that's all gonna be done and dusted. So, but we are super, super excited to finally have our business name and our business logo um, and we'll go into a couple of details of how we came into that in this video but go ahead and check out those pages guys again Savage Tacos FL Instagram Facebook you can also still of course check us out at Poor Man's Food Truck on Instagram and Poor Man's Food Truck on TikTok as well if you guys have any questions leave them right in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them for you so let's just rewind a little bit and go into how we came up with how what we came up with so I'm sure that you guys can remember when we did actually originally paint the trailer. Uh, I had quoted in that video that we were working with a, a company that was local to my area. And I'm trying to uh, work out how we can get the, the vinyl logos put in. And it was going to cost yeah, around 1500 bucks something in that kind of ballpark. Uh, that price may have gone up by now. I don't know. But I got to thinking and I'm like, well, how hard can it really be? Uh, we've done everything else so far 100% by ourselves, DIY, parked outside the house. So how hard could it possibly be to, to get our logos implanted onto the trailer? So it was kind of funny because I was watching um, The Office with the old UK version because I'm originally from the UK. Shout out Office UK. And uh, one of the episodes, um, David Brent, who's the main character, uh, was using an old school projector um, and they were doing you know like a, a company training day and the projector kind of projects the image up on to the screen and you guys that are you know my sort of age you'll remember at school when you had those big boxy projectors you put that kind of clear paper on it and it would project it onto the onto the screen or the wall or whatever you were doing in the class that day and that's what kind of sparked my brain and I was like well why can't we just do that with the trailer? We just got to get the logo and somehow project it onto the side of the trailer. We're going to use the same paint, the same techniques that we use to actually paint the trailer itself because this paint, I'll tell you, has held up really, really well, especially given the Florida weather. So how hard could it be? And the one thing that we really couldn't do ourselves was the company logo, which you can see it right here. We are super, super happy with how it came out. So I'm going to give a shout out to Chilton Signs and LED of Winter Haven. Those are the guys that helped me with uh, with my logo. They were really, really great price. Um, the people in 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 the company were were great and really helpful. They helped put the logo together and, and get it to me real fast too. It only took about a week or so to get everything actually in my hands, and then I was the owner of the artwork. So shout out once again, Shilton LED. If you guys are in the Central Florida area or close to Winter Haven, Lakeland, Tampa, wherever it might be, and you need uh, logos or um, business logos, LED signs, whatever you need done, go ahead and check them out because they were really, really great. And uh, I just wanted to give a shout out to those guys because you know this logo wouldn't exist without them. So thank you, Shilton. All right, guys. So let's just talk about what we're gonna try to do here. So the plan is we are going to take that idea that we just talked about with the projector and we're going to project our logo onto a big piece of FRP or polywall utility panel. You guys will remember that we've used those uh, in some of the previous videos there. They're nice and sturdy but at the same time they're easy to cut. So we're going to project the image onto one of those, cut out our own stencil and then once we have our own stencil we're going to put it on the trailer. Uh, it's going to be right on this nice big side right here and see if we can just basically paint our logo directly onto the trailer using the same paint that we used um, the bear uh, ultra using that same paint to get the logo onto the side of the trailer and hopefully that's all it's gonna take guys so um, I figured that um, I'm, I already have no idea if it's gonna work or not but uh, worst case scenario if it doesn't then we just repaint the trailer and you know we're back where we started so I think that it's worth a shot so uh, let's go ahead and get into creating our very own stencil for the trailer 
And of course, if you guys have a logo that's a little bit more complex than ours right here, it's probably not gonna work for you. But if you have something pretty simple, which is just lettering a um, couple of different shades of color um, and pretty basic, then maybe it'll work. Um, but of course, if you have, you know, real complex imagery or you have pictures of your food and stuff like that then this of course isn't going to work for you but if you're in my boat and uh you know you're going pretty straightforward then maybe it's a viable option i guess we're going to find out real soon all right guys so now we are inside the house um because <clears throat> we need a dark environment to do it and you can see we have the logo projected right there on our very trustworthy poly wall utility panel you guys know that we've used these before and these were really great decided i would go with this because they're super easy to cut and once we actually pin the stencil to the trailer um, it shouldn't flop around too much so that's the reason that we decided to go with a poly wall utility panel instead of just you know paper or something of that nature and <clears throat> the thing that is projecting it is this right here you have to excuse me so we have stuff just piled up it's kind of just jerry-rigged, <clears throat> but this is the projector. It's made by TMY. I bought it from Amazon and it cost me right around 45 bucks. So really not very much money at all. And you can see it works pretty good. Um, you will have to excuse some of the mess <laughs> that I have. We have uh, we got a few beers from last night. We had a bit of a good time. So uh, you can hear my voice is a little bit coarse too. So we will have to excuse me for that but <clears throat> you can see it works pretty well it works obviously even better in the dark but it's in the middle of the day right now so that's as good as we can get it <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we are going to uh, trace uh, the logo nice and carefully and as slowly as we can and that will then give us our stencil to put up against the trailer um, so that we can then paint our logo directly onto the trailer ourselves. So we just gotta, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually do the, the Savage Tacos first. And then because this street food cuisine doesn't quite fit on the, the, the panel, but you can see I'm gonna have a big piece kind of left over on this left side. So we're just gonna cut that piece and then do the street food cuisine afterwards. And then just, you know, kind of put it all together and do it all in one go. So just wanted to show you that guys. So the projector, uh, again, made by TMY, uh, sorry, TMY. You will need um, one of these adapter cables because it has a USB and HDMI which needs to be plugged in and I have the image coming from my cell phone um, but you will need to buy that I will leave a link in the description for it for the cable um, to run it from well I have an, uh, an Apple phone but I know they do an Android one too plus the projector and the polywall utility panel that's what we're going to use to get started all right guys so you can now see that we have the first part traced out um, did take a while, took a steady hand, but uh, did it in uh, around an hour and a half to do this first part. So um, it was very time consuming, but hopefully it's going to be worth it. So that's what it looks like. Next step is we're obviously going to cut this out to create our stencil. And then we move on to the next step. All right, guys. So now you can see this is what it looks like once everything's been cut out. Um, I laid it down on the floor of the trailer, excuse the mess, um, to try and give you guys an idea of what it looks like once the stencil is complete. And um, I mean, it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. So we'll see what it looks like when we get it up to the side of the trailer. And just like we had discussed earlier in the video, we have our street food cuisine part of the logo stenciled out as well. Um, and now we have one and two ready to go. Next part is we're gonna get it on the side of the trailer and uh, get to painting. All right guys, so we have the stencil up on the side of the trailer. This is where I wanna have it because I'm gonna put my logo here and then we'll have like my telephone number, social media, that's all it's going, um, it's gonna be down on that right side. So um, just to go over the paint. So once again, we're gonna be using that exterior Barrett Ultra. The colors that I have gone with are Grey Envelope and Bonfire Night. So those are the two colors that we're going to be using and now it's the moment of truth because we're stenciling what i found was to use like these little foam brushes apparently because you're supposed to dip and then get as much excess off as possible before going onto the actual surface itself so what i did was i bought these which usually come with like a triangle head and i just cut the head off of them so it's nice and flat um, so i'm going to be just going real slow um, piece uh, letter by letter i'm just dipping it in the paint taking the excess off putting it to the surface and so on and so forth. So 
these were like a dollar something uh, from Home Depot and the paint was about 20 bucks uh, per can so about 40 40 dollars um, there or thereabouts so let's get into the pan all right just to show you guys what I mean when I'm painting it I'm going super light and just kind of dabbing it onto the trailer because I don't want the paint to run um, obviously if you just paint it normally it's gonna trickle down you don't want that so I'm going really light layers excuse the lawnmower behind me but really light layers and just dabbing it on a tiny piece at a time all right guys so we got it all painted on <coughs> it looks kind of messy right now but uh, we're just gonna let this dry real quick and then start taking down that stencil and let's see how we did and there is our final product guys um, I gotta say I'm really happy with how it came out. I think it looks pretty good <laughs> um, It's not perfect We got a couple of uh, got a couple of edges just to straighten out you can see it kind of just dripped a little bit there And you know, we just need to tidy up that um, Some of the corners, but <clears throat> what we'll do is we'll take a little bit of uh, The cracked pepper that we have left over and just take a tiny little brush and just straighten that out So I'm not too worried about that, but there is our finished product guys so let's go over how much it cost me to do this so all in all guys i paid 45 dollars for the projector about 40 bucks for the paint um we paid about another 25 dollars something like that for the frp to stencil it onto already had the scissors already had the pens and everything to actually make the stencil the paint brushes were about a dollar something each uh this a total cost me about 110 dollars total so which uh which i think is a amazing amazing price and could be a feasible option for you guys as well like i said mine's nice and simple so it was pretty straightforward to do 110 dollars versus 1500 for my uh vinyl logos again massive difference so uh let's wrap it up okay guys so next we're actually going to be going through the propane um, but before we do that we'll actually go through as well how we came up with uh, these shirts which we made ourselves which you can see we have our logo and name tag el jefe and on the back we have our logo and all of our social media info we made these shirts completely by ourselves as well and we'll go through that again real soon so stay tuned for that and that's going to be everything for this video guys uh, if, once again if you have any questions leave them in the comments section right below again please go ahead and check out our new facebook page savage tacos fl along with our new instagram page savage tacos fl we're going to be coming to the streets of central florida really soon hopefully so um go ahead and leave um leave any comments that you got below and until next time guys thanks for watching